He's three for 10 this weekend, a double, one RBI. And he watches that one drift outside for ball four. A check swing that gets past Cameron Gill and off over to second, the runner will go. For Wake Forest last season out of the bullpen as this is hit on the ground to shortstop, picked up and just lobbed over to first base at time to retire Poist, but the runner does move over on the mound. As Pennington sends this was high in the air and coming up to make the catch is King Seaver and he fires it in, but that won't get anywhere close and Batone will score to make it one nothing here in the top of the first. Cavey will now be the batter as he pops this one up from a bunt and Massey shaking his head. Advancing them to the D2 South Regional as this one is pelted. Tellier gone! Oh, it hit off the wall and Tellier thinking that was going to be long and gone will arrive nicely and safely at second. <laughs> Scoff at this, but uh, Sometimes they just got to heat it up a little bit of the temperature wise for that. Here's a 3 2, lifted high in the air as this is going to give some trouble to the center fielder, but he's able to come up under it and make the catch. Tagging up and getting to third is Tellier. He's safe for a future major leaguer. Here's the pitch for Kelly and Saver King gets a hold of this one, but it's going to go straight into the glove of the center fielder again, tagging up and scoring is Tellier. And just like that, the Deeks have tied it up. The numbers he put up in 2022. The one, two, check swing, did he go? Oh, the umpire said he did. Uh, double, three walks. And Massey says, that doesn't impress me. Strike. Three called. 444 batting average for Max Bowman. And after that strikeout, Bowman draws a walk in D1 baseball here at Akron. As that one gets behind and away from Gill. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. Big cut, 91 miles an hour. And there is strike three to replace Kemper. So he has a strike on him. Now two strikes, a wave and a miss for strike three. And Gill will throw it down to first easily. Supporting their Demon Deacons. Here's the pitch to Katz. And Katz thought that was a little too far inside, but he's rung up. And he watches that one go too high from the zone. Big brother, Tommy, who was here to collect their ACC regular season Winners rings as this one could get tied up and that ball just a little too low. See if that bothers Fett. And Austin Hawk sends this one maybe into the gap. It is. It gets down. It hits the wall. Hawk is off and running. He's going to slide into second. He's got a double. So after yesterday's grand slam, he adds another RBI. Luckily, Bowman was able to grab it, but. Uh, this is going to result in a, a clock violation there. From Nacoma's Florida, he'll get another walk, and the bases are juiced. Here's the pitch. As Kurtz gets under this one, but it should stay in the park right in front of the warning track. The catch is made by Pennington. Well, for them, game four, for Wake Forest game three, is that one came up and plunked him and Massey with his shoulders, and he just blew it up. His senior year, he tried to blow that one up, but missed it, strike three. But two runs scored, two RBI. Here's the pitch. It hits off the shin of Gill, and that will move over. Here's a 3-2 pitch. It's hit on the ground, picked up by Hawk. Hawk will watch him fire over at Kurtz, and Kurtz gets him a walk, three strikeouts, and two stolen bags. As he waves his hands at this one, sends it high in the air into shallow left center field and backing into the grass is Merrick Houston to make the catch. King gets this one and finds left field. And King will easily coast over to first. Third, and the Deacons lead by just one. And there's Seaver King off and no throw needed. He's just too fast. In the Men's College World Series game against LSU and he's trying to pull this in. He does. It is down into left field for an extra bagger and Seaver King scores. 
tack in another run for the Demon Deacons, and now they lead 3-1 with Jack Wynne sitting calmly at second base. Another double. And that one's a little too far in the basement for ball four. Grand slam over the right field wall yesterday. He tries to pull this one into left field. He does. He could get another RBI. Rounding and scoring is Jack Wade. And that tacks on another run for the Demon Deacons. Runner on at first and second. Tellier gets onto this one. This one's going to get down into the gap. It'll hop twice, hit the wall, run scores. Here's another one. It'll be close. And getting down and scoring is Austin Hawk. Third, they have some a chance for more, and he takes the first pitch, and he hits it on the ground sharply, but it's picked up easily. Some sunshine here in Winston-Salem, and a swing and a miss as Johnston. These two, these two teams have met. That was only twice, and they met in 2009. A 3-2. Tapper, and it is off the heel of the glove by Tellier, as Tellier had to charge in on that. A 1-2 pitch. Runners on at second and third, and Johnston already walking off the mound. He knew that was a backwards K. His brother played 3-1, very supportive, and Kurtz will send this one in down for a base hit. Kurtz at first. First pitch, got him on the inside, hit him, maybe hit him on that elbow in addition because of his production. In 2022, and that ball gets over the head of the catcher. Payoff pitch just outside of the zone, and now the bases are loaded. In the state of Maryland, he waits for the 3-1, slashes at it, goes straight to the shortstop. Could be a double play ball, but not with the speed of Caleb Nelson, as he is safe at first. And one run in the bottom of the fourth, which is where we sit right now. And... Sprocket can't find it. And Nelson says, you dare me? And I'll just take second. He swipes second. Quine with runners at second and third. And he jammed them, gets it high in the air. They have to battle the sun, backing up to make the catch is Bowman. But tagging up is Seaver King. He's going to test him. And he passes the test with flying numbers. As Ross... Fires first pitch, it is hit hard sharply, but picked up well by the third baseman, Sackett, and he's able to get it over to first in time to Caney against Fordham, or Fordham scored in the first inning. It's a comebacker that Johnson had to get out of the way, sliding to stop it is Hawk, former top outfield prospect from Ohio. He has gotten hit. Two strikes on poised, here is the 0-2. This is going to get over the head of Johnston, but picked up by Merrick Houston over and not in time. In the bullpen. And that ball bounces and get past, gets past Gill, and Akron will score another one. Nobody out. Here's the pitch. Johnston, an off-speed pitch. As Pennington sends it in the air, it is caught by Nelson. He's going to get it into the infield. What a gun by Nelson. Another inside pitch not given by Tony Corelli. Sit here in the top of the fifth. Three balls and now four balls to nothing. And Johnston will be just a one run. Wake Forest lead. He hits it sharply on the ground at shortstop. Merrick Houston, Hawk, Kurtz, double play. Complete double play successful. Uh, eight pitch at bat in the MAC championship, which then gave him that MVP. And he is going to toss the bat. No need to swing. As Houston did test the MLB waters. He'll send a comebacker that gets it to center field. This will bring in Hawk as Hawk is steaming and churning. He will slow it down and tap home plate. And Wake Forest scores again. He will definitely test the MLB waters this year. And a lot of MLB teams are watching him as that ball is going to get off that back. Rhino, we miss you. 2-1 is Kurtz is able to flare this one into left field. And here comes some more runs. Tellier scores. Merrick Houston scores. And now Kurtz is going to take second.
One for one, an RBI, two runs, a stolen bag, and he lifts this one high, going back at the wall. Gone! Saber King! Saber King with a two run shot, and now he has his first home run as a Demon Deacon. Thirty-one two-thirds innings, and Reinish sees Green right center field, and that's a base hit. And he also has a decent bat here too. First pitch swinging, he gets it into right field. There's a base hit. He's going to test. There goes Reinish to third, and he is going to get tagged out. He tempted him. Akron won 14 to seven. A touchdown and an extra point. And this is lifted high. Cameron Gill, did he get enough? It's at the wall, and it is off the wall. It is going to be a triple as Gill fought it and left the yard. It'll be a three-bagger in an RBI, and the Deacons now have 14 runs. He ran the 60 in a 6.4. Here's the 2-1, lifts this one to the left. This is going to stay in the park, and it is caught by Pennington for the final out. On February 20th, 2009, right here in Winston-Salem, where Wake Forest won 11-2. With one ball, two strikes, here's the pitch. And it is right over the head, picked up by Seaver King, and he tries to get it over to Kurtz, but it fell out of his glove. Shinovsky takes a look at the runner at second and delivers, and a backwards K. Here's the pitch from Koshi, and he came in a little too tight, and he hit Seeker, so 1-1, one, one, Koshi, and this is hit high in the air, going towards the gap in left center field at the wall, and the catch is made by Javar Williams, and that will do it. The Deacons will move to 3-0. Hey everyone, Wheels here, and I'm excited to kick off my sixth year of college baseball coverage. Since there's always new viewers at the beginning of the season, I do want to give a quick reminder to subscribe, as over 50% of viewers watching haven't yet done so. We're so close to reaching half a million subs. Thanks everyone, and let's have another amazing season of college baseball.